Let's find the area of the triangle. Notice that this is an isosceles triangle with the two sides being congruent. This is 120, so that means these two angles are also congruent. And we know that all the angles have to add up to 180. So if you take away 120, we're left with 60. So these two angles combined are 60. Cut them in half, you get 30 degrees. And now we're going to draw down a perpendicular. So this can be 90 degrees. So we have 90, 30, and this means this has to be 60. And this also has to be 60. So it's a 30, 60, 90 triangle. Now, the longest side is the hypotenuse. That's this thing right here. And the base is always going to be, sorry, the the side opposite of the 30 degrees. So let me draw it over here. If let's say the hypotenuse is x, and let's say this is 30, this is 60, the shortest side is the one opposite of 30. That's going to be half of the hypotenuse. And then 60 will be half of the hypotenuse times root 3. Okay, for us, we have the hypotenuse is 3. So the smallest side is going to be 3 halves. So the uh, altitude here is 3 halves. And then the base is going to be 3 halves times root 3. The same thing goes over here since the two triangles are congruent. So the area of the triangle is 1 half base times height. So the base, well really because these two are the same, you could just say half of the base is going to be each one of these. Because when you end them up, you get the entire base. That's going to be 3 root 3 over 2. Multiply by the height. The height is 3 over 2. So we do 3 times 3 is 9. And then 2 times 2 is 4. So this is our area. Next, let's find the area of the sector. So the area of the sector is of the form 1 half r squared theta. And theta has to be in radians. Now the radius here is 3 because O is the center of the circle. So this technically is a full circle, but we're just looking at a section of it. The radius is 3, and the angle is 120 degrees, but we have to convert that in terms of pi. So just take 120, multiply by pi over 180. The zero is going to cancel. It's 12 over 18, divide both by 6 to get 2 pi over 3. Now the 2 is going to cancel. I have 3 squared is 9 over 3 is 3, and I'm, and I'm left with pi. So the area of the sector is 3 pi.